February 23rd, 2021, at 4 p.m. I will um, first meet, read in the open meeting law. In accordance with Governor Charles D. Baker's March 12, 2020 order, suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Law 30A, Section 20, the Board of Licensed Commissioners will convene via remote conference and services on Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021 at 4 p.m. airing on Quincy Access Television on channel QATV 9, Government Access. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made whether perceived or unperceived by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Susan, if you could please call the roll. Sure. Director Duca? Present. Chief Jackson? Present. Chief Keenan? <coughs> Chair Crispo? Present. Thank you. Uh, we do have a quorum. I'd like to get to agenda item number one. Here in regard to the request of Miam Miam. LLC for a common victual license for the premise located at 1211 Hancock Street. Miami Mia will be a French bakery pastry shop. Proposed manager Jennifer Turner. Proposed hours of operation are 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Jennifer Turner. Hi, Jennifer. Why don't you tell us what you're going to do there at um, Miami Mia? Sure. Um, basically, I'm going to be doing, so right now I'm working out of a commercial kitchen uh, on Water Street. Um, I moved my facility or I'm moving my facility over. We're uh, opening at 1211 Hancock and we're going to be offering uh, what we offer now. So French macaroons. Um, and then in addition to that, we're going to be offering some handmade um, artisan chocolates and um, some other French pastries on the weekends. And that's it. And will you be doing coffee there as well? or um, We might have some bottled refreshments that we'll offer um, because Starbucks is our neighbor. We're not going to be focusing on coffee. Uh, we might have a coffee drink, a tea drink, um, but mainly the French pastries and maybe bottled, you know, like I said, bottled beverages. Okay, thank you. Um, any questions or comments from anybody regarding Miam Miam LLC for a common virtual license? For the premise located at 1211 Hancock Street. <coughs> Being none, board members, any questions, concerns for Jennifer? Jennifer, will you be doing any work, um, fit out any uh, upgrades for the restaurant? Uh, so they're working right now. Uh, all that we're doing is moving in some furniture that I had in a previous store, um, counters. You know, we have a pastry display case, a chocolate display case, and then our um, POS system. And then they're just uh, putting in my oven. They just have to do the electrical for the oven. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, it's a, vent, a ventless convection oven. And um, also, you know, just putting in a three bay sink. Um, and then I'm working with a sign company that's going to be, you know, obviously um, applying for a permit to put up a sign that's going to be similar to the signage for Starbucks, T-Mobile, and Chase. Thank you. Madam Clerk, I do, some, I do see somebody with their hand up. I think there might be another question. Okay. John, go ahead. Hey, how you doing? Thank you, John Rotafield. Um, 62 Grand Wall Road. Um, I am definitely wish success to the, um, you know, the, the applicant and in the city, but I just want to make, <coughs> excuse me, I just want to make sure the, um, there's no parking there and like people stop at Starbucks um, and they park right on the corner. Um, let's just say that it really is a good pastry and people are going there to get something. Um, there's going to be construction across the street for years. There's going to be construction behind there. Um, it's just putting the applicant in, in a tough position, um, you know, by letting her open there. I just think it's it's going to be very challenging because I went to, um, I used to go to that 
convenience store next door to there all the time and they tried very hard and the foot traffic in that area even though you think it would be a lot um really isn't a, as much as as you would think so i mean unless there's a crossover of the maybe starbucks people going over there or if a lot of the business is over the internet and stuff but if a lot of business is over the internet and stuff it's kind of hard seeing pain you know i i just could imagine how crazy the rent is at that location so i wish the applicant um a lot of luck but i just want the you know the license board to know that when they do grant these applications to think of the um you know success of the business to make sure that you know customers are able to park and and get their product when you do give someone an application somewhere you know i know eventually in like two or three years there'll probably be a new parking garage somewhere in that area and that would be great so i would ask my landlord for like a nice deep discount in rent until that happens um other than that thank you very much thank you john um there is some municipal parking behind the building adjacent to the building there and um so with that i don't really have a big concern on the parking uh, at this time um looking for a motion i'd like to make a motion to grant the request of miam miam llc for a common victual license for the premises located at 1211 hancock street miam miam will be a french pastry shop bakery proposed manager is jennifer turner the proposed hours of operation are 8 a.m to 9 p.m seven days a week uh, represented by Jennifer Turner. Second on the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all sec, Jennifer. Thank you. Good, Good luck. luck. Thank you. Next is agenda item number two here in regard to the request of Hishu Sushi for a common victual license for the premise located at 495 Southern Artery. Hishu Sushi will be responsible for the sushi within the stopping shop on Southern Artery. Hishu Sushi currently has a license for the sushi at the stop and shop on Newport Ave. Proposed manager, David Leo, proposed hours of operation are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Nicole I.P. Polito. Is Nicole in attendance? Yep, I think so. Hi, Nicole. Why don't you tell us what your plans are for the stopping shop on Southern Artery? Oh, and I'm also here representing Keisha of Sushi, so I can um, answer those questions for Nicole if that's all right. It certainly is. Would you put <laughs> your name for the record? Uh, yes, Kristen Sanigo. Hi, Kristen. Why don't you tell us what you're going to do there at stopping shop on Southern Artery? Thank you. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be a very similar operation to um, the sushi bar that we have open um, and the other stop and shop in Quincy. So we'll have a um, be prepping the sushi on site, packaging, labeling it, and then having it prepared in it um, for grab and go in our display case. Okay, thank you. Any questions or concerns from anyone in the audience? John, is that you with your hand up? It never went down from before. I don't know how I got to put it down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, seeing none, um, board members, any questions, concerns? Nope. Seeing none, looking for a motion. I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of Hishu Sushi for a common victory license for the premises located at 495 Southern Artery. Hishu Sushi will be responsible for the sushi within the stop and shop on Southern Artery. Isu Sushi currently has a license for the sushi shop at the stop mm. and shop on Newport. Yeah. Proposed manager, easy for you to say. Proposed manager is David Leo. Proposed hours of operation are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Represented by Nicole Ippolito. Second on the motion or the tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. You're all set. Thank you. 
Agenda item number three here regarding the request of Austin Realty Central LLC for a lodging house license at 67 Revere Road due to a change of ownership proposed manager Stephen Austin. Hi, Stephen. How are you? Good, Nicole. How are you doing? I'm very good. Thank you. Um, why don't you tell us um, what you're going to do there at Revere Road? Is everything staying the same or will you be making some changes? Um, the only changes I'll probably be making is just doing some upgrades and cosmetic work, doing some um, new flooring in this common area, maybe um, paint, fix some plaster, you know, just some repair work. And as far as uh, the tenants, I'm going to keep the tenants as is right now and, you know, probably try to upgrade the whole building, at, you know, over time. Okay, thank you. Um, any questions, concerns from anyone on the zoom call seeing none um board members questions concerns for mr austin requesting um for a lodging house license at 67 revere road no no okay um just so that you know stephen um according to um the inspectional services in the fire department, there are annual inspections and they will be um, in March and April of yep. this year. Um, yep. Looking for a motion. I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of Austin Realty Central LLC for a lodging house license at 67 69 Revere Road due to a change in ownership. Proposed manager is Steve Austin, represented by Steve Austin. Second on the motion. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. You're all set, Steve. Thank you. All right. Great. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye. Agenda item number four. Here in regard the request of Copeland Way LLC, Nantasket Way LLC, and Whitwell Way LLC for a lodging house license for 5357 Copeland Street, 49 through 51 Copeland Street, and 184 Whitwell Street. Respectfully, due to change in ownership, proposed manager Bob McGrath and Taylor Harrington is here representing. Um, and Taylor, why don't you tell us what you're going to do there? Um, yeah, so um, 53 Colton Street uh, has been a longstanding sober house. I purchased the property in September and I want to transition it back to a traditional lodger. Um, so it, there will be no interior reconfiguration. It already has full life safety systems, full security systems. Um, the building was completely renovated in 2015. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be making any changes on that property. 49 Copeland Street is a 10 room lodging house. It's also been operated as a longstanding sober house that my intention now is to change back into a traditional lodger. Um, that building as well has full life safety systems, uh, electrical, I updated the electrical and um, that building was renovated as well in 2015, kitchens and bathrooms, et cetera. And then 184 Whitwell, I purchased in might have been 14 months ago, and that was a sober house that um, has brand new sprinkler system, brand new fire alarm system. And um, when I dug into it uh, after purchase, I realized that it was never licensed as a lodging house. And because it's, I mean, it, I can offer, I can change it back to a single family too, but uh, you know, it's already got the sprinkler system, it's already got the fire alarm. So I just wanted to see if I could legitimize it. Okay, thank you. Um, we did do a little research into 184 Whitwell Street and it was listed as a boarding house. Um, so we did reach out to um, Councillor Phelan who um, did not have any concerns at this time with it becoming um, a legit lodging house. Um, and so for that, if anyone has any questions, concerns in the audience, um, 
John, I see your hand up again. Is it up for it a is. question? It's, it's really up, yes. Okay. Okay, um, John wrote a fail, 62 Gramwell Road. Um, you said on those first two that you were reconverting them from sober to lodging. Is the one on Whitwell, are you going to keep that one as a sober house or are you going to make that one into a boarding lodging house too? I, I would like to change it back into a regular lodging house. Okay, well, I mean, I'm I'm actually thrilled. I think this is great. So you're you're taking away, not that I'm against sober houses, but I think we have too many of them in Quincy. So, um, you know, this is something where, basically, this is an alternative to Airbnb. Instead of having Airbnb in the residential area neighborhoods, this is a place where people who need to stay at a place that they can't afford $150 at the Holiday Inn or $300 a night at the Marriott, this will give people um, a good place to come to. So um, I'm really in favor of this and I thank you for doing this. Thank you. Any other questions, concerns, board members? No. Nope. Seeing none, looking for a motion. <clears throat> I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of Copeland Way LLC, Nantasket Way LLC, and Whitwell Way LLC for lodging house licenses at 53-57 Copeland Street, 4951 Copeland Street, and 184 Whitwell Street, respectively, due to a change in ownership. Proposed manager Bob McGrath, represented by Taylor Harrington. Second on the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that does conclude our agenda for today. Looking for a motion to accept the minutes from the February 9th meeting. Motion uh, made. Wave the reading. Second. Thank you all. And our next hearing will be on March 9th. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.